Hi, I'm Steve McNeil, rep with Digico and an owner here at Mambo's Head and Recording. We are tasked over the pandemic to do some tape archiving. And so we did using our tape machine. And instead of just running through our Pro Tools rig, we decided that maybe we should use our new 32-bit Stadius Mic Pre's. Now, we knew they sounded fantastic live, but we thought that this would be a super simple way to do it and have it be cleaner all the way over in a full archive mode. So we took the line output from the tape machine directly into the Stadius Mic Pre's, 32-bit, 40-bit floating point processing in the desk. It's hard to beat. So that way we weren't running through an analog chain that, would, that might color the sand and that may not be ha uh, good enough for our client. So trying to keep it as pure as possible, just archiving. Uh, so we did that. We took the direct output from the Stadius piece right into an, an MGB. The MGB converts it to an Ethernet signal and then we run it into our DIW and you can run it into any program whatsoever as long as you're doing what broadcast wave files or something that anybody can use. We did a version in Pro Tools, we did a version in Reaper, and a version in Waves Live. Uh, this client wanted it in Waves Live, I'll play it back in Waves Live in a little bit. But what was nice about that is that even if we needed to, we could clock the MGB to the rack if we felt like we were getting any kind of clock interference. That was uh, the way that it worked. Um, we don't really need the console. We can do it through a laptop, and a laptop can control the racks, but there's really not a lot that you really need to do once you've converted it into a line level signal. The console is really kind of an extra. It's a nice extra because it allows you to listen to inputs and then listen to your returns, being able to solo in place, being able to check what you have going on. It's a neat system for us, and it was very fast and easy for us to make something happen. Size on the